Welcome back to the Master Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to read RFID scans from components like key cards and key fobs using a microcontroller like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. So the core functionality in this project is obviously RFID, which stands for Radio Frequency Identification. And there are so many little sub-technologies that we could deep dive around the world of RFID communications. This will be a practical video on how to use RFID scanning for an Arduino or a comparable microcontroller project. But for today's video, all you really need to know about how an RFID loop works is that there is a master or a powered active component that is sort of going out and emitting a radio frequency and looking for nearby devices to scan. And for this application, that'll be this standard MFRC522 RFID scanning component. It uses a very simple eight pin pinout, which is very standard for RFID scanners. And then passive components, things that don't require power because they have an RF signature, an RFID, but they're not powered because all they need to be is near an active component that's able to scan them, like this key fob or this key card. So if you understand the difference between active and passive, you know enough about RFID that you can use it for this project. The eight pins I previously mentioned are built around serial peripheral communications, usually abbreviated SPI. And in our application, it's 3.3 volts and ground for the power loop. And then SDA, which is serial data, SCK, which is serial clock, MISO, which is master in, slave out, and MOSI, which is master out, slave in, then IRQ, which means interrupt request, and RST, which means reset. You can find little variations on these pins. Some use uh, slave select or chip select as well, um, but we're not going to worry about that today. It is worth mentioning and calling out now that the majority of the kits and scanners that I saw that are Arduino compatible don't come with the pins soldered on. So I know some folks uh, have found my videos before and they mentioned that I never said anything about you having to solder. If you use the exact kits that I use in this video, you will need to solder your components. So if you don't wanna do that, just make sure you look for a similar kit that comes with the pins already attached. Now let's take a look at the physical wiring for our project. The piece that you actually need to know about our physical connections here is we wanna take 3.3 volts and ground from the scanner to the same pins on the Arduino. Then I'm going to use pins 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 for the rest of the connections. 9 for reset, 10 for SDA, 11 for MOSI, 12 for MISO, and 13 for SCK. In this application, we don't need the IRQ pin, so don't worry about that one. And those physical hookups to an Arduino is all we need to get the RFID scanner working. I'm gonna add a breadboard with six LEDs just hooked up to six open digital pins so that I can make an interesting example in the next step. But all we need for the RFID scanner to work is those first seven wires we talked about. Now let's go quickly look at some of the code here. In the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, then Manage Libraries, and search for MFRC522. I'm using this one from GitHub Community that comes with several great examples. So install this library, then hit the little three dots in the top right corner of that library in the library tools, and go to examples, then open the one that's called read NUID. This is going to have some simple code to get us going really fast with just reading the RFIDs, and then I'll show you my custom code for checking and validating RFIDs against a bank of stored and trusted codes. Now, if you're a code aficionado or you're really trying to understand a layer deeper of how RFID works, I welcome you to pause here a little bit, go through this example code, and really understand what each line is doing. But I'm gonna summarize it for you. It's basically importing the libraries that you need to get going, and then the sensor is actively listening for a new RFID chipped device. When one comes close enough that it can read it, it just prints it to the serial window. That's basically the whole point of this read NUID example code. And so let's put it onto our Arduino real quick. Let's scan a few devices and let's see what happens. And what you can see is I'm scanning these unique IDs and they're being displayed in four bytes stored in hexadecimal format. 
That's really important because when you save these codes in an array or some bank of trusted codes that you want to use going forward, you have to make sure to get both the data type, which is bytes in this case, and the format, which is hexadecimal. You have to get both of those correct or it won't copy over appropriately and then your comparison logic won't work right. So I'm gonna write down all six of the codes that I have uh, here on the devices in front of me, and I'm gonna use these in the next example. And just before we dive into the next example, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. PCBWay has everything makers and hobbyists need to take their hobby designs and turn them into high quality production level parts. While they specialize in printed circuit boards and printed circuit board assembly, they also have everything you need to turn high quality 3D printed parts and metal CNC prototypes around in no time at all. Every time I've worked with PCBWay, the service has been extremely high quality, pricing is super reasonable, and the turnaround time is great. So be sure to check them out, and thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. Now, I want to use the six LEDs to indicate if the RFID I just scanned was one of the trusted codes, and if it is, then I want to light up the spot in that LED bank for that code. So I have one through six, I'm gonna store them in an array so they'll have indexes zero through five. And I want these lights to light up if I scan a certain one. So light five should light up if I scan the fifth RFID tag, light one, two, three, four, et cetera. And the code component of this is very simple. You just have to sort of modify that read NUID to then take the scanned code and check against an array, uh, kind of iterate through a for loop. And of course, I'm gonna leave it linked in a GitHub below. So if you want to grab that, start from that code, start poking around and making it your own, feel free to take that. And let me know as always with any questions you have around the code in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and scan a few devices, see how the circuit reacts and talk about what's happening. And what you can see when I scan RFID tag one, the first light lights up, the rest of them blink indicating it's a bad match. RFID 2, the second light lights up, and et cetera, et cetera. So you can think of a system where you might want students to scan badges or tags when they check in, some sort of system where you provide an employee perk and you want to track who's using it, so you set up a badge scanner. And in a pretty minimal way, this is sort of how employee access systems at work, your credit card when it's being chip scanned at checkouts, and all sorts of other local scanning RFID type technologies are working. So having a basic understanding of this is super cool, not just for hobbyists and makers, but as you go about the world, seeing this in regular use and knowing, hey, I know what's going on in there. All right, so I hope y'all found this video to be a useful introduction to the world of RFID scanning with Arduino and microcontrollers. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and drop a comment telling me what we should do next. Please consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, it helps me out a ton. And if you love the content we're doing on the channel, go ahead and check out my Patreon link. It's in the description of the video as well. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. And thank you to everyone for watching. We'll see you next time. Good luck with your projects. Bye.